Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how you can pass the unknown variable length parameters in a Python function. So for example, uh, if you remember, we have created two different functions previously. One was related to the circle where we were passing radius 1, radius 2, radius 3. And let's say you want to pass 10 different radius, then you have to specify the 10 different arguments or the parameters in a Python function. Similarly, in case of height, uh, in case of area uh, rectangle, you need to specify the at least two height and length. But to get the volume, you need to specify the width as well. But let's say if you have other parameters, then you know you need to specify that within the function body. So in this video, I will show you how you can avoid that and be a little flexible with the help of this variable length argument or the parameter within the Python function. Okay, so let me define var underscore length function and here I will going to use a special notation which is star and for arguments just the args so this can be any any value but important thing is you should have a star which indicates that it can accept one two three four five and number of uh, different arguments or even zero argument if, if it is there so with the help of this we can further make our function dynamic okay so what i'll do is i will just uh, come over here and uh, let's first of all get it uh, uh, you know the print out of the different arguments that we are passing to it so what i'll do here is uh, i will just specify one variable n args is equals to zero and uh, use the n args to loop it through the different argument and just simply print it so what i will do is for n underscore args in args Right. print this is the argument number come over here and pass and underscore box right once we execute this let me call pair length and I will pass one two three four five and what it will give us is the this is the argument number one two three four five if i let's write six seven eight nine ten it will give me simply the list out of it so as you can see we are simply specifying one simple argument args with the help of this asterisk sign which is making it dynamic and helping the user to take any number of arguments which it is accepting now it is up to us that how we want to define the logic within the function to make sure that uh, based on the number of arguments that is being passed over here we are processing the data and i will show you one quick example to get a better idea in the next video